Good morning, everyone. Thank you once again for joining me on the Little Crafter Show. Hello, my name is Eileen. Um, I wanted to do this on cam, but I have to use my phone because my camera is acting wonky and the bloggy MIA. So, here we go. <sighs> okay, first off, I would like to take um, 2010, scrap it in 2010. Lisa here on YouTube for challenging me to make this card. Um, I had to make a video announcing the challenge and the rules were that I had to make a 5x5 five five card. It had to have flowers, um, layers, and bread. So here is what I came up with. <clears throat> I'm sorry I didn't make it sooner. Um, I just uh, haven't been really in the mood to craft because it's been so stinking hot. So, in anywho, so this is my card, and believe it or not, this is um, mixed media paper. Apparently, I didn't have weight um, cardstock that was thick enough, so I decided to use mixed media paper. Then I inked it with uh, frayed burlap. Um, the paper that you see is, I have no idea because I lost the name of it. I was hoarding it and it came across it and I said, hmm, this would be a um, pretty paper to use. I decided to try and not to hoard um, a lot of stuff anymore and use what I have, even though I continue to buy, as you all see my, <laughs> my, um, my haul videos. Please do not, do not. Challenge me, anybody, to not buy anything. Can't, can't do that. Um, I'm always needing something. I'm just, uh, and besides, I like to shop. <laughs> I'm trying to keep this thing steady. Anyways, so um, the first layer is a cut at 4x4. Four four. Um, I do know that the paper is 8x8, eight eight, and it has like a lot of Asian influence designs. Um, some looking from China, some looking from Japan. Very beautiful. I'll share with you next time the paper because I see another project that I will be making out of it very soon. And I forgot to bring it down. <clears throat> so, okay, so that is that. I distrusted a new spray burlap. Um, second layer is cut three by three. It has gorgeous butterflies, silhouette butterflies. So, so that inspired me to use um, my Martha Stewart punch and just kind of layer it. This is what it punches out, the butterflies. So we then use the Tim Holtz stamp. It's this one right here. And I cut it out. I know it's not exactly and it doesn't look um, all that great, but I love the way it came out and um, I just, I stamped that one out in black soot and then I went around with it and distressed it and used uh, frayed burlap once again and I used for the thank you a wooden block a uh, recollection stamp I also added these doilies these are just the regular paper doilies and what I did was I cut this in half so this and the oh, actually no this one is just a half one because it's a long one. And then after that, I cut it in half like so, so that I can use it over here and one over here. I then use the Nistam King Moon Shadow Mist. That's my drawer you hear opening. I'm trying to see where did I put it at? Okay. Anyways, so that's what I use. Moon Shadow Mist on um, the doilies. I painted it on. And for this particular, the second layer, I used some pop darts to um, pop it up. Let me see if I can show you in a better angle. Sorry about that, guys. I'm trying to not get you guys all sick. So, and I also popped this up. The sentiment, <clears throat> that's not the sentiment, that is. 
<laughs> um, the flowers are a combination of Tim Holtz, here are the breads, which are these breads.